Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. I'm Sarah, and if you are looking for home style recipes made ketogenic, then you've come to the right channel. And tonight we are going to be making something warm and savory. I'm going to be making white turkey chili, and of course, it's keto. So come along with me, and let's get started. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day Winter is right around the corner, and it's that time of year when things like soups, stews, and chilies sound so nice. I also have leftover turkey for my Thanksgiving holiday, and so I wanted to utilize it here, and you might also. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you are going to want to do is to season your meat. Now I am making a white turkey chili, but this would work very well with any kind of poultry. You could even use pulled pork or shredded beef if you like. You're going to need four cups and it needs to be chopped and already cooked, of course. You could also use a rotisserie chicken here for ease. You want to season this ahead of time to make sure that it's very well seasoned before we put it into our chili. So I have four cups here already chopped and cooked. I'm going to start with some salt and some pepper. The next thing is two tablespoons of cumin, chili powder, and garlic powder. And I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top and I'm going to stir everything in and set our meat aside. So you are going to want some kind of Dutch oven or stock pot, soup pot of some kind. I am using my Lodge Dutch oven and anything about that size would work well. So in the bottom of my Dutch oven, I have about four tablespoons of butter. To my butter, I'm going to add four chopped green onions and also two cloves of garlic. I'm using the Durote Gardens and it's frozen, but you are going to need two cloves of garlic. and we are just going to saute and let those soften into our melted butter. The next thing that we are going to add is about four ounces of softened cream cheese, and you want full fat cream cheese. Just looking to melt our cream cheese into our butter and onion mixture. Okay, our cream cheese has melted. I'm going to add one cup of chicken broth. If you have leftover turkey broth from the holiday, that would also be wonderful here. So I am using turkey here. Um, due to illness, we were unable to have our extended family Thanksgiving, unfortunately. So consequently, I have extra turkey because I was anticipating feeding a crowd. So I am trying to use up extra turkey, but of course chicken would be equally delicious here. The next ingredient that I'm going to add is two cups of heavy cream.
So our green chili is getting nice and smooth with all of these ingredients. There are no lumps from our cream cheese, which is what we are looking for. So we are going to go ahead and at this point put our meat back in to the chili. Remember we have our reserved meat. This is once again four cups of chopped cooked turkey. Stir that around. Because this is a chili, I'm going to be adding some chilies. So I'm putting in two four ounce cans of chopped green chilies. Now green chilies are not particularly spicy. They just have a nice mild flavor. Because I would like a bit of spice for our particular white chili, I'm going to be adding two further ingredients. The first one is about two tablespoons of green salsa. And I am also going to add a little bit of sriracha. If you don't like heat, you can leave this out. Now the final ingredient before we let this be covered and simmer is some cheese. I have about two cups of shredded Monterey Jack cheese here, but you could also use cheddar if you wanted. White cheddar would be ideal in keeping with a white chili. You could also use something like pepper jack if you really like it spicy. So that is it. I am now going to cover our chili and let it simmer for about 20 minutes and then it will be ready to serve. So I will see you in 20 minutes. Okay, I am ready to serve. There it is, the beautiful white turkey chili. can see how meaty it is and creamy. Now I'm going to garnish mine with a little bit of cilantro, but that's, you know, not everyone's preference. You could also just use some green onions, and I believe I'm also going to put a few low-carb tortilla chips on there. So there it is, the keto white turkey chili. Okay, here is the keto white turkey chili, ready for eating. Hi. Hi. Time for some chili. I see. It looks really good. Mmm. That's really good. Lots of flavor. Lots of, lots of big chunks of turkey. The green onions are a nice touch. And these look like tortilla chips. Homemade tortilla chips. And let's see how they taste with that. Okay. Mmm, that's good. I think people will like it. This was super simple to make. It took us a while because we were trying to film it and talk through the whole thing, but if people were just doing it and they had a rotisserie chicken or leftover turkey, I think they could knock this out fairly quickly. Yes. So, easy keto dish. And uh, we've got another chili recipe. Maybe we'll link that in the video as well. Okay. So. And I also put it in my blog. Okay. Good job, baby. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this
stay.